All right, so welcome again, people, to MG Sports TV. Thank you very much for joining. And it's a scoreline that I am not 100% pleased with. But before you start, Cusp, I said this is the same old miserable MG Sport. But this is a Cusp board that I can't play about this. <laughs> before, just before I do that, people, I'm going to explain to you guys. I'm going to show you guys with data why I'm not 100% pleased with the scoreline. I'm very, very happy for the win. But I do think that they are very, they are much aspect of our football that needs to be improved before before we think about going to the common ball for the copa um copa america don't tell no people anyway hit the like button hit the subscribe button this is actually post-match review we're just going to run through the statistics and the details and the, all the issues that the things that happen in the game anyways my chambers we're not making long as we're not making long my chambers quick short spicy hot nice i do believe that we started off the game um fairly well um but still can't, we conceded a goal against runner play Quick reply by Demar Gray. Really, really quick reply by Demar Gray. And as soon as I see the, the first half, I just uh, elongate up me. I said, eh, eh. I kind of me kinda get a bit slightly worried. I slightly worried. Even though I do believe that we, we created a few chances, we need to stop missing. We, we, you cannot be dashing away a chance like that. We need to start finish our chances. We need to finish our meal when we get it. We need to finish our meal to get it. Now, Slightly concerned about Leon Bailey still, even though in place in place much minutes. Slightly concerned if you can just look on him body movement, you can see that he's not a hundred percent. Um, wonder what As Aston Villa is supposed to watch and watch it right now and I cringe again. Oh my word, they probably are cringe, anyways. Half time come the game, um, ducked at 1 1. No, for me personally, I think it was a fairly decent first half. We could have done better where goal scoring is concerned. But fairly decent first half. I do think that we need to learn how to control the game. It's not every means we get the ball, we have to rush off a goal, we have to dance towards the goal. We can, at some moments, control, be just be more composed, play the ball around, find out what the just find out the team, just play with them just a little bit, understand what they're trying to do. I do believe that sometimes we're in, we're in too much of a rush, maybe to score for some reason. Now, let's move over for the second half start. Shaman Nichols coming on, um, kind of open up the margins a bit, which is, that's quite nice. That's really, really nice. Seeing him open up the margin a bit. And yeah, you can't say the keeper could do a, a lot better, but them say if you don't buy a ticket, you'll never win the latter. <laughs> but good finish from him. And I do think that in recent time, you can see that Shaman Nichols is certainly finding back his form, which is a good sign because we need a, a fire and a, a good um, a Shaman Nichols who is gunning and scoring goals. His older play generally is normally good. Um, te the technical aspect of his game tends to be good. His running off the, off the last one is generally <clears throat> good as well. Game says 2-1. As the game prolongs, boom. Demar Gray, slight deflection. A bit of fortune there. <laughs> A bit of fortune there um, where, it, where it concerned. So I think that, that made the game. Is it? How much it made the game? I think that made the game. What the heck? Good, yeah. Um, the market I made the game two one, and kind of in the nice in the nice aspect of things. I mean, no whole only bit that just keep in mind. So, in nice aspect of things, um, Leon Bale, you know, with another with a nice goal as well. It's actually a real good finish from Leon Bale, actually. Compose. Um, my friend come and said that offside. Luckily, um, referee didn't put up the flag, so I'm happy for that. Then, boom, out of nowhere, they score again. Same player, same player. I thought it's actually a good striker. It's him finding it's him first goal and scoring, find himself in between, find himself in between the defender, the two defenders, them, and square the goal. That's such a really good skill. A lot of person might underestimate it. Anyways, move over from that. We're going to look on the DT, the statistics, people. Let's have a look at the statistics. I know you guys, um, I'm going to say one minute that about in the first part of the game. So we're, we're going to show you the statistics, people. Um, So this is what I'm, I, I was speaking about in the first part of the video. Let me show you. So this is what the group looks like, people. So Grenada is at the bottom of the table. Jamaica is at the top. Grenada is at the bottom of the table. Jamaica is, is at the top. Goals conceded. Only two teams conceded more goals than Jamaica. Only two teams conceded more goals than Jamaica. Points to note. We are quite good where goal scoring is concerned because we have scored the most goals in the, in, in the four games. We have scored a total of 10 games, averaging 
now roughly like four um two point maybe one two point one goals per game which is actually good but we're still conceding over a goal per game that is concerning that is certainly concerning something that we must work on remember you know in the press conference with the coach the coach spoke about the aspect of conceding less goals tighten up because i asked him about philosophy style of play he said that we're conceding we're conceding too much goals and that is something that he needs to work on so technically saying that we need to be more structured defensively and we are more likely more of a defensive minded team as you can see from most of the time start 11 has like four back four cdm is always there uh, our defenders are in the midfield so we technically start off with six defensive minded players and we'll emphasize on keeping clean sheets unfortunately we're not keeping clean sheets so that's the reason why i said the score line technically i don't really like it we still consider two goals in a game that i think that we dominated in some aspects of the game i believe that we also created more than enough chance um in that game but i do believe that we are showing a lack of maturity where in moments of the game that we could have managed the game a lot better we don't need to be i'm um, trying to make final pass every every minute win possession we can just play the ball around pull them out just force them force them just make them get tired just wear them down wear them down and the goals will come keep the defense solid keep the defense the keep the, the clean sheets we need clean sheets going up against better team we can't concede, consistently concede goal we have to work we have to work on that conceding goals is our, at this moment is our achilles heel it could be quality of our defenders that could be the case it could be the structure of our defense that's ta the tactical aspect of it these there are many many variables but we have to just consistently keep the ball from coming to our inside the back our inside the net we have to do something about that we definitely people two teams are conceded more than us are the two teams at the bottom of the table 80 and grenada they're the only two teams who have conceded more than us Andreas, look at that concede one goal scored in eight averaging two goals per game and only have conceded one goal so far that's actually very good statistics it's not i'm not saying that boy it's the best because they have they have, they have lost the game and maybe they have lost the game maybe they lose the game maybe they one they lose the game as well but at the end of the day we cannot consistently ship it in goals but when you look on the table still the table looks good top the table on to the next uh, on to the the quarterfinals we will see who will play it on the quarterfinals let me just read out some statistics for you guys so you guys can hear what's happening here where the statistics are concerned um Anton make his first appearance for Jamaica since 2023 Gold Cup. Jamaica top the table in Group B of League, um, League of Nations with 10 points. That's good. Um, on Tuesday, we'll find out in Group of A, League A, we'll conclude it. We'll know who Jamaica's opponents will be in the quarterfinals. And I think that's it. I think that is it. So these are the details and these are the statistics. People, as I said, I'm slightly concerned. We need to stop shipping in goals <laughs> mjo i go to that i don't know you know. <laughs> i don't know but we need to stop it because at the end of the idea if you want to be a champion team you can't be a champion team and consistently i'm con um, conceding conceding goals like that we need to stop in shipping these goals people we need to stop we need to stop so that's that's my concern at this present moment not only that Still not look that good as yet. Still don't look like how warp look as yet. But it's building, working on it. Hopefully Al Grimson get it right sooner than later. Sooner than later. Anyways, people tell us what you think in the comment section. Big up yourself, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time. And I'll see you guys again. Jamaica 382. Revenge serve best on a nice plate or gold, gold, golden platter. Big up on yourself, people. MG Sports TV. Big up. We're out. Boom. Big up on yourself. Another win for the reggae boys. God bless people.